G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Growing Melbourne. Um, I've just added some bird feeders just to attract some birds. We get the galahs, the rosellas, or oh, sorry, the lorikeets, um, mainly here. Sometimes we get the cockies. But today's video is going to be an update on my avocado. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've done an update on the avocado and I'm still really happy um, not only with the fruit but just these beautiful new growth that's coming out of this. I mean even if you didn't get fruit it's still an amazing ornamental tree. But all this new growth, I mean look at the colour of, look at the difference That is amazing. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick update on the avocados here. I mean, I'm really happy with with the way these are growing. I mean, this is a this is a pretty good sized avocado here. It's probably a standard size you'd get at the shop, and they vary. There's a, there's a smaller one here, another one here, and um, I mean, you just got to move some branches away, and you just, you know. Two on one here. What I have noticed though, when when this happens, you pretty much get this damage in here. See that? It's almost as if the skin's rotting. It's happened on all the ones that are touching. I won't worry about it. I've got. I mean, look, I've just got to move here. I mean, it's just avocados everywhere. I mean, over there, I'll go into the middle here, they're just, they're just hanging everywhere, look at them. There's a, that's another problem I'm having is still I'm getting some rodents taking little nibbles and going, hmm, they aren't ready. There's not much of them, but it is, it is still happening. I think I'll be alright. With um, with just leaving them, I think they're not eating enough to actually do any harm to all of the crop. I'm just getting in the middle of the tree here. Um, you know, they're, they're down here. Lots just there. Look, you probably can't see them all, but there's lots and lots even down here. Just everywhere. I reckon if I was to recount now, there'd be um, there'd be over a hundred. I reckon um, the ones that did come off, with ones that were eaten in one of my other videos by the rodents, and they just um, and I think the girls came in here and thought it'd be a good hiding spot, and um, knock one off. But never mind. So you can see that one's just been chewed heaps there. Here's another one touching, and there's going to be, oh, not really, that one's not too bad, but see that one's got damage from them touching together. But never mind, they may heal over when they get older. But we've still got a few months to go before before these um, avocados will be ripe. Um, when I look, you can see how small this one is, when I say they vary in size. I'm actually now looking forward to next season because um, I'm not going to prune it. I'm going to just leave it as is and um, hopefully I'll get even more avocado on it next season. Um, oh, hang on, sorry, me mic's stuck on the avocado tree. Can't get it off. There we go. All right, so. The only bit I'm going to trim is, uh, is some of these some of these branches here. Some of them stick out too far. I want to give this orange a bit more room, and then when I prune the nectarine back as well, I'll I'll prune this back to give this orange a bit of a chance. Because unfortunately, 
that's all I got this year. And the other, the other little one that was on here has fallen off already. So that's it. one orange. On an orange tree that's been here for, it had to be, we have to, we have to be getting up to four years now. Maybe, maybe three, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, so you can see they're quite high as well. We're looking at about, I don't know, one, it's probably about two, just over two metres high, these ones. It's about the highest ones. Nothing's sort of grown onto these top branches. But um, the tree's grown a lot. It's getting weighed down a lot. I've still got it all propped up with sticks here to keep the avocado off the ground. Um, but all in all, I'm extremely happy with all these avocado. They're just everywhere. Everywhere. I've got some beauties in here too, actually. I've got to find it. There's, um... Some big ones in here if I can get it out without breaking it off. A beautiful one there. Look at that one. That's a massive that one. And a couple over the other side here. And those big ones in here as well. Yeah, really happy with the way it's all turning out. Um, I've also made some changes here. I had a uh, plum here. I've decided to put a banana circle in here um, and, and a pit where I'm going to just dump a heap of green waste in the middle here. I'll get some lawn clippings, put them in there. All these old banana ones that start to rot, they'll go in there as well. And we'll get a nice big banana circle in here. It'll get some protection from, from the uh, palm tree. They're all waiting for me to get out of the way so they can eat their seed. Yeah, so, and then I'm hoping to get some bananas off those ones next year. Which would be great. So yeah, there it is. Avocados are looking good. The tree's looking extremely healthy with this beautiful foliage on it. Amazing. And then I've got the I've got the the other avocado in the chook pen. I've already put some chicken wire around that and around that so when the chickens arrive they won't go scraping all the all the feeder roots up and killing the tree. And then once once this is grown and it's touching that chicken wire on the roof there I'll cut that square out which is I'll cut the chicken wire out of here let it grow through and then I'll extend another piece of chicken wire up here so obviously nothing can get in and kill the chickens and then my other two avocado are up here, kids making a mess, let's get through here, so I've got, well I've got more than two, I've got seedling here, which is pretty much stopped, it's looking a bit, bit crook actually, a bit yellow, but it is a seedling, so I don't even know what variety that would be, I've got the other two avocados here, for the bacon, We've got some big buds already in some of this is the one that my ladder fell on. I damaged it right here. Fingers crossed it should be alright. That's the bacon. This one here is the, the Pinkerton. Oh no, uh, yeah, the Pinkerton. Um spindly little thing, but it's looking good. See all these little buds here. But it's looking healthy. All underneath, all underneath here for protection through the winter. Um, 
they won't be going in the ground for another maybe two years especially the Pinkerton it's just a spindly little thing the wind will just uh, knock it down so yeah that's um that's the avocado update if anybody uh, wants to know anything about the avocado leave us a comment and um, yeah just any questions I'm happy to answer I do have a couple of other videos um, on the do's and don'ts on growing avocados in Melbourne uh, check them out um, if you're living down in Melbourne you want to grow an avocado it's going to be extremely helpful for you um, in fact we'll be doing several videos on avocados and comparing this house which has taken 10 years to fruit and I'm gonna grow this one completely different I'm gonna grow that um, differently because I made many mistakes with this one I'm not going to make it with that one. So I'm going to cross fingers and we'll get fruit off that in three or four years. Being already me having it for a year, it was probably maybe two years. So even, even hopefully next year, a year from now, maybe two years. That's what I'm hoping if I don't do what I did to this one. All right. Just thought I'd quickly show you what else I'm doing with my avocado. So this is uh, all my worm tea. I've got two worm farms. Um, and I get, uh, I could get every two or three days a bucket out of each one. So almost a bucket every day. Um, but this time of the year, things don't need watering as much. So I've always got extra. In the summer, all the tropicals and subtropicals that are in my pots, they'll all get um, they'll all get this every day or two, every three days. Um, but in the winter, what I do is I um, feed it to my avocado tree. So I just put these two buckets straight in, and there's no. Uh, there's no um, special way to do it. What I will do though is try and find somewhere to prop my phone up. Um, and I'll show you exactly how I do it. I wonder if I can prop it up in a fruit tree. Here we go. you can see this uh, this is what I do you probably didn't get all of that but I just chuck it all over it see it worm tea dripping everywhere and this time of the year I'll do that I don't know every I don't know once a week maybe just thought I'd share that with you thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and don't forget to leave a comment and give us a give us a thumbs up see you later thanks for watching